Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. These last couple days have been really, really fun. Um, a clip of me got posted on Twitter and the Groypers swarmed and it's been a good time because y'all know how I react to criticism of the irrational sort. I laugh it off and it's been a very, very funny couple of days. Um, so one comment, or I guess this is a video sort of that I kind of promised to a lot of Groypers in the comment section of that video. Um, where I would just go through and explain why immigrants are beneficial, why demographics are meaningless, why all this stuff, basically responding to the large majority of the uh, Graper's more pragmatic critiques, I guess, or why immigrants are just bad in general. Basically, that that's mainly the goal of this video, is to respond to those critiques, because I, I promised a video. I said I'll, I'll release a video on... Uh, on demographics and immigration on Sunday, where I basically go through, run through, debunk a bunch of claims, where I go more in depth on stuff. Because in my video, I said um, the crime statistics that are the idea that immigrants commit more crime, it's largely not true. It's been largely debunked. And I say things like immigrants are beneficial to the economy or immigrants will assimilate, um, all these sort of things that a lot of Groypers don't believe, um, which, I mean, <laughs> it's their fault for being wrong, but I guess I can explain it to them. I don't think, now I don't think I'm going to convince anybody in this video because whatever I say, whatever I cite, you guys are going to, going to claim is some Jewish evidence or something stupid like that, depending how far down the road you're, you've gotten. If you don't believe, if you don't believe in Jewish conspiracy theories yet, um, we got a few more months to wait, um, but whatever. So let's go into a few things. Let's begin with the um, economic arguments, which is, which is probably the easiest. Um, every single economist, or every credible economist, I'm sure you can pull some nationalist economist out of the woodwork who believes that immigration is bad and believes that tariffs are good and really stupid stuff like that, but um, most economists, credible economists, believe that immigration is good. Now, I know this is an appeal to authority, which a lot of you guys have been doing in the comments below, saying things like, oh, you don't have very many subscribers, or you have really few likes on your video, or you have few followers. Um, that's definitely an appeal to authority as well. However, um, I'll give I'll give a little argument explaining why. Um, when immigrants come in, when an Im immigrant comes in, a an em employer hires him, he can work lower wages than uh, most Americans, and this, to an extent, takes American jobs. Although it creates more in the future, which I can get into all this. Um, so, when an immigrant an, an immigrant an immigrant comes in and uh, gets a job, it doesn't necessarily take an American job. That's largely a myth, but whatever. I can get into all this later. Let's let's. Let's focus on a point for a second. Um, so an immigrant comes in, gets a job, um, works a low wage for an employer. This means that the employer's input costs go down. The production cost of creating a product go down. This means that he can produce more and have more money to profit and innovate in the future. Um, it also means that he can lower prices for the majority of Americans because the majority of, of Americans are not working that job. They're buying from that company. So if you if you really want to help the majority of Americans, the American people, you want to have immigrants come in and lower costs of production for employers so then they can lower prices for you. Um, so that's one thing. That's this is generally economic consensus. I think you can give me whatever argument you want against this. this is, I mean, this is largely economic consensus. And so learn some economics if you want to discuss this argument further, because most Groypers don't seem to understand very much about economics. So in the comments below, don't post something stupid like, Oh, he said that uh, immigrants are good for the economy. Oh, what a fucking cringe loser. Don't use the word cringe either. That, lose, that word has lost all fucking meaning. Um, if you use the word cringe, I immediately dismiss your arguments and consider you a bad faith actor. I don't consider anything you say any further because you're basically the groper equivalent of an NPC. You just use whatever words are fed to you and yeah, you just use whatever arguments are fed to you. Um, but let's continue. So the economic argument, let's continue with that. There's also the argument that immigrants go on welfare and leech off the government, which is true, and I don't agree with welfare. I think um, welfare is a very negative thing, but I think if we're going to argue against anything, in this case, we argue against welfare. We don't argue against immigration. Um, so give me your arguments against welfare. I don't think I don't think you guys are making any. Um, but if you want a good argument against welfare, go watch my um, the, the nihilism of welfare video that I posted I don't know when, a couple days ago, maybe a week ago, we'll see. Um, yeah, go look for that one, nihilism of welfare. Um, welfare is definitely a negative thing, I don't believe in it. But And also, immigrants contribute more to the system by paying taxes than they take out from welfare. Um, and also, illegal immigrants aren't allowed to get welfare. Um, there's already laws against that. 
and you have to be a citizen technically to get welfare at least from every th every bit of research that I've done um, I'm sure there's some that get on it anyways and some that leech from the system which I'm not saying is a good thing but in this context it's not that negative of a thing plus they pay more into the welfare system than they take out due to taxes um, and if we abolished welfare we would get the best of the best immigrants the immigrants who want to come here to work and if they don't work they die and I'm fine with that um, if you're not gonna work if you're not gonna sustain your life you don't have any reason to deserve to live um, but whatever I can get into welfare that's all in a different video all the stuff where I get into welfare and how people are gonna survive um, without welfare when they're poor I, I get into all this stuff in different videos um, and then what's another argument that people make oh the argument that they're gonna take American jobs um, this argument is absolutely stupid if an employer wants to hire an immigrant and doesn't want to hire you an American worker there's no reason why they should um, hire you instead an employer is producing products for he's doing us a favor uh, the American consumers he's producing products for us to buy at a price that's lower than at a price that's lower than what we'd be willing to give up otherwise we wouldn't buy it um, so this employer is producing something for us to consume um, to make demands on him is very very fucking entitled very entitled very much like why doesn't the employer just stop this these um, these uh, producers are the atlases carrying the society on their backs um, and to claim that oh oh because they don't want to hire an American worker and want to hire a cheaper immigrant instead that's something that's negative so we need to force them not to hire immigrant workers that's absolutely absurd and it's such a disrespect to these atlases who carry the world on their, carry the world on their shoulders because I mean if we keep making demands on them I would definitely recommend that they just shrug atlas please shrug <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, that's the whole point of the book Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. Y'all should definitely read it if you want to better understand morality, better understand politics, better understand how to live a good life. Um, but, yeah, no, no American is entitled to a job. That's absurd. Um, if an employer wants to associate with, a different Im with an immigrant and wants to hire them instead of an American worker, that's entirely the employer's right. Um, and it's your job to find a job for yourself. It's not your job to um, force an employer at the... Uh, at gunpoint basically to not let let an immigrant in to hire them and um, hire you instead that's absolutely stupid um, <laughs> um, but I guess I just believe um, in individual rights and I believe in freedom I believe that people should be allowed to use their own minds to pursue their own happiness I believe in the pursuit of happiness but you guys don't seem to believe in that you guys seem to believe that each individual is part of this collective whole that they should sacrifice their own life their own happiness to which uh, that's the whole reason for anything negative that's happened in history and these are those are not Western ideals those are definitely not Western ideals the reason the West is great is because we've allowed individuals to think for themselves to produce for themselves which you can look at uh, my last video where I go through the history of the West and contrast it with other sort of things to understand that better now let's look at the uh, crime argument the idea that immigrants commit more crime um, this is a really, really quick one to respond to because every single study that I've seen has said that immigrants commit less crime than native-born citizens. Um, so, I mean, it's a really simple argument. If someone can give me a source that provides some other evidence, I will reconsider my argument here, um, and I will make some different argument. Um, also, I advocate for a system where we basically open borders, where we allow anyone in who is... <laughs> you guys are going to clip that. That's going to be funny. Um... But basically open borders, um, I, know, I know I fucking triggered the grapers there, but let's keep going. Um, basically a system of open borders where we let anyone in who can make it to the country. We don't, we don't waste our money on shipping in refugees. That's a fucking waste of time. And it's a big reason why Europe's going through the crisis that it's going to, because they paid money to ship refugees in, which is stupid. If they want to come to the country, they get there by their own means. Um, but yeah, you basically open borders. You let anyone in who is not a criminal and does, isn't carrying a disease. Other than that, you let anyone in i guess also if they're part of like a country that we're at war with which we're not technically at war with any country even though we probably should be at war with um certain countries in the middle middle east like iran and saudi arabia because they are threats to the country um but i mean we can basically eliminate that threat in a in a day if we wanted to um so yeah so the whole crime argument that's not a real argument because we keep we try to keep out criminals even in an open border sort of system um, and the whole argument of like, oh, white people are going to become a, a minority. That doesn't matter at all. That literally doesn't matter at all. Uh, 
as long as if the immigrants assimilate to the culture, which they generally do, if they want to come to America, they, they're not going to leave their country to come to America to make it like their old country. That's absolutely absurd. Why would they leave their old country if they wanted their old country to be America? Um, and then also, they generally have assimilated throughout history. Um, actually, we're getting into a new argument here, the cultural, the cultural argument. It's the whole argument that Groypers make that these immigrants have set cultures based on their past, uh, their past countries and their past cultures. And because they're not white, they can't assimilate to white culture. They can't hold white people's ideas. Um, the reason why white people, so to speak, or the West, um, which has mostly been white people, I, I do, I do acknowledge that point. Um, which has mostly been white people. The reason why we have made these civilizations that we've made is because of the ideas that we hold. Um, it's not because of our skin color. It's not because of any other stupid explanation that you can make up our language, our cultural, none of that stuff. None of that stuff makes any sense. Um, it's all pointing to something inessential. The reason why the West is separated from the rest of the world, rest of the world is because of our ideas. It's because of these ideas of individualism that the individual can reason for himself and produce for himself and pursue happiness for himself when the muslims accepted this during the islamic golden age they made huge advancements in science they were extremely prosperous at the time um and this is i mean this is so obviously true that individuals can think and reason for themselves um even if they're a different color this is so obviously true if you look at history if you look at how people act in general um now, here's the thing. If you look at the fact that certain cultures aren't assimilating um, anymore, which isn't necessarily true, I, I, yeah, whatever. Um, but if you look at this fact um, that people aren't assimilating as much as before, um, it's mainly because they do what we tell them to do. They listen to us. If we tell them that their culture is equally as valid as Western culture, and just keep your culture, separate yourself from West, rest, Western culture, which is what we do in the modern multiculturalist culturalist world, um, then they listen to us. That's what they do. Um, but if we were to tell them to assimilate, like we did back in the uh, 1900s, 1800s, when a bunch of immigrants were coming over back then, too, at, actually at a higher rate than they were today um, compared to the population. Um, yeah, when we told them to assimilate, they assimilated. That's always happened throughout history. Um, immigrants do what we tell them to. They assimilate if we tell them to. Because every human being has free will and the ability to think for himself and to use reason to come up with his own ideas and be rational. And yeah, basically, except these are, these are, base, these are the ideas that the West was founded upon. These are the ideas that made the West great. These are the ideas of Aristotle, the ideas that led to the Enlightenment, led to the Industrial Revolution. Um, led to Greek civilization, which was this um, beacon of flourishing amidst all the darkness of the rest of the world at the time. Um, but yeah, uh, this whole idea that these immigrants won't assimilate and their culture is so different, um, it's not true. It's, real, it's obviously not true. Human beings have the ability to think for themselves, to use reason, um, and they can change. They can change to the culture. Um, and the reason the West is great is because we accepted those ideas. It's not due to any color of our skin. It's com those sort of things are completely arbitrary and meaningless. Um, sure, the white people are the people who accepted the ideas. It doesn't mean that because they're white, they had to accept those ideas, or because they're white, they're, they're better than anyone else. And you, most of you white people out there don't even accept the ideas that made the West great, um, like individualism, reason, those sort of things. Um, the, but the reason why, like everyone, when I talk about this sort of stuff, they're like, oh, you think I, America's an idea and not a people? Um, yeah, because the reason that these people have made something great is because of the ideas that they hold. It's because they chose to accept these ideas. If any other culture did the same thing, they would prosper. Islamic Golden Age. Um, any, any, like that, that's, that's such an obvious example of this principle. Um, but you guys can't seem to get that through your skulls. Um, if it's not the ideas that makes these people great, then what is it? Is it the race? That's absurd. What does race have to do with anything related to making somebody great, making somebody's ideas correct? It just, there's no real connection there. You can cite statistics, but it always comes back down to the ideas that are held. Um, it always comes back down to that because when the West accepts good ideas, these are, these are the results of these good ideas. These are the good things that happen. Um, so, so sure, you can point to all the statistics you want. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's absolutely absurd, this idea that culture is, uh, culture is 
determined by your race or that your ideas are determined by your race. Human beings have free will. They can make their own decisions. Uh, and to know these sort of things, all you need to do is introspect. Look at yourself. Know that you have free will. Um, any sort of determ determin deterministic argument is not very intelligent. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh, also, the final point that I hear quite a bit is after you give them the crime statistics and explain how immigrants commit less crime, then they'll often cite... Uh, uh, Hispanic people committing um, committing more crimes or black people committing more crimes, which is true. However, this is not immigration. This is not an issue of immigration. These people are were American citizens because, as we know, immigrants commit less crime than American citizens. So these these people were already American citizens if they're committing more crime. Um, now, let, now we can actually go into and look at these different races and why they commit more crimes than other people. One big reason is the war on drugs. The war on drugs has largely overrepresented these um, Hispanic people and black people because largely it more targets poor people and black people and Hispanic people have largely been poorer than white people throughout Amer um, throughout um, um, these past couple of years in American history. Um, we can go into why that is. That would take a really long time and not not necessarily something I need to, I want to go into in this video, but we look at poverty. That's that's a main reason why this like it leads to these uh, a lot a lot more criminals um so my argument would be legalize all drugs um why should drugs be illegal if someone wants to hurt themselves that's perfectly fine there's no reason the government should have to come in and stop them um because if you want to inject something in your own in your own body if you want to try something out for yourself there's no reason why the government should stop you sure you're killing yourself but why should why should the government stop you? It doesn't make any sense. Someone give me an argument for why the government should have to step in and stop you. Because a lot of people just when I make this point, they just laugh it off like, "Haha, he said drugs should be legal." Oh, fucking cringe, bro. Cringe, uh, cringe, cringe, cringe. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my god, it's so yeah, it's so stupid. But whatever. So that's that's one point. So then when you look at, I mean, a lot of the crime in the black community is also caused by different, like, tribalism that comes from um, intellectuals who basically push this idea that if you're black, you are not as prosperous as white people, and you need to just stay down, basically. You need to stay down, and any black person who, like, rises up or talks uh, coherently or becomes more intellectual, they're acting like a white person, so they need to know their place in their tribe and yeah it's all really 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 stupid stuff um but it's very it's a very much a common mentality um in the black community if you look at different things like this so a lot of black people don't want to rise up also there's the fact of the uh, welfare state which largely entrenches people in poverty um but yeah all this all this sort of stuff leads to black people being more impoverished and poor people generally commit more crime than rich people um so the fact is, it's not intrinsic due to race that these people commit more crime. Um, if you want to solve the crime problem because of like because black people commit so much crime, then just get rid of all the poor people in the country. Just slaughter them all. Then you're gonna have low crime rates. You're gonna your crime rates are gonna be way lower. Even the white people, slaughter them all. The white people commit uh, crimes at a really high rate as well. Just kill them all. That's that's the implication of what you're arguing for. That is not something I'm arguing for by any means, but I'm sure that'll get clipped out of context, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, so yeah, it's this, this is like, this is the logical implication of your argument. Um, and then, so then let's, let's look at Hispanics, uh, apart from the um, poverty thing and uh, that, that being one aspect. Um, another thing is Hispanics don't commit crime as, at as high of rates as white people. Um, well, if you look at the overall statistics, that's true. However, it's not. There's a lurking variable underneath, just in the same way that under black people, there's the there's the lurking variable of poverty and culture and those sort of things. Um, there's this lurking variable under um, underlying the reason why Hispanics have higher higher uh, higher rates of crime or higher rates of violent crime. It's the fact that Hispanics, on average, are a lot younger than white people, and younger people commit crimes at a higher rate. Now, anyone who understands statistics understands that this lurking variable makes us that we can't say that Hispanics intrinsically commit more crime than white people. It, you, there's an explanatory variable, which is age. So this explanatory variable makes it so that Hispanic people and white people, you can't say that Hispanic people c commit more crime than white people. It's not something that you can say because of this lurking variable. If you understand statistics, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, if you don't understand statistics, I mean, then you're just a griper who's going to post cringe under this video and it doesn't affect me at all. Um, uh, anyone who's rational um, understands this argument and 
should come around to my side eventually. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the logical implication of the argument that Hispanics commit more crime um, is that you basically deport all young people, invite in all the old immigrants in the world, um, get rid of all the young people, because that's, that's how you lower crime rates in this sense. So this whole lowering crime rates thing is such a non-essential issue um, that gets so overplayed. So, yeah, so overplayed. Um, yeah, because race is never the deter determining factor in these sort of things. Um, you can give, like, these are just two examples of statistics. I'm sure you could give me any statistic that you want to, and I could find the reasoning behind the statistics. And it never comes down to race. It always comes down to something else because human beings are inherently equal, guys. <laughs> but, I mean, there's nothing that really disproves this point. I know you'll be like, cringe, he said humans are equal. Haha, <laughs> what a fucking loser. Oh, he thinks, he, he thinks human beings are have the all have the ability to think for themselves and reason oh what a loser this dude actually believes in western values oh <laughs> so cringe yeah it's so stupid but whatever um so yeah long video again but i think that's all i have to say um yeah there's nothing else i can think of that i forgot off the top of my head so yeah i think that's all i have to say for today um thank you all for watching and go post a loving comment where you use the word cringe because it's so funny to see um Go post another beautiful, loving comment. And thank you all for watching this video. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace.